Hey guys. All right, welcome back to another week's episode of Called to Homeschool. Wasn't last week so fun? I hope you enjoyed last week. We had Karin back on. Karin and I did the podcast together for, I think, two years. And uh, she's amazing. I love her. There's no hot drama. We just have done different things with our platforms. And she's gone on to write books, which is so awesome. And uh, we talked about her new book last week. So that was a ton of fun. And Lindsay Watkins was our big winner on Instagram who won uh, Karn's new book. So super excited for her to get that because the book is amazing. And I cannot wait to try a bunch of things from it. All right, let's dive in today's episode. Creating an amazing family. I probably should have used the word awesome because I love awesome. I have my shirts that say I am awesome, but we went with amazing. So trying to mix things up, I guess, a little bit. But if you were to ask me what I'm most passionate about, I would hands down say it is my family. And it's so interesting in our society right now, sometimes when people want to be a homemaker and be a mom, that sometimes people will look down on that and say like, you're not really contributing to society, you're not really helping anything, but that is where my heart is, is at my home and with my family. I got married at the ripe old age of 19 and was pregnant very shortly after we got married. So when my oldest son was born, we were very young, my husband was in school and he wasn't really in a position to be the sole provider. So I had my sweet baby and then a few months later, I was back to work and I did not like it. I cried almost every single day that I had to leave my baby. And honestly, it surprises me that I was even able to do it because with all my babies that I've had, anytime they took my baby away from me at the hospital, I nearly had a panic attack. And that's one of the reasons I loved switching to a home birth is because nobody could take my baby away from me. And even when I have the baby and I come home, like I want my baby and I just love being with my baby. So I cried a lot when I went to work and it wasn't even like my baby just got dropped off at a random daycare or some stranger that had 30 kids they were looking after. My baby was with my husband who was awesome and would take him to work with him sometimes. And my wonderful sister-in-law would watch him. And both of them who are obsessed with babies, obviously my own husband was obsessed with his baby, but my sweet sister-in-law is too. And so he was always with my husband or my awesome sister-in-law and it was breaking my heart. It was just, I, I did not like it. When he was six months old, I couldn't do it anymore. And we found a way to live off of one income so I could be home with my baby because that is where my heart is. Now, when I was a young mom with young young kids, I didn't always love it. So even though my heart wanted to be home and I wanted to be a homemaker, I didn't always love it. There were many times when I was just trying to keep my head above water and I sometimes felt like I was drowning in children. If you've ever heard the Jim Gaffigan joke, I believe he has five children now, and somebody said, what is it like to have five children? And he said, imagine you're drowning and somebody hands you a child. And that was how I felt. Now, when we are faced with a trial, we have two options. We can complain and become bitter, or we can rise to the occasion. Now, I don't love, I know people don't love when I refer to children as a trial. But for me, it was. I had five children in six years. When I had the fifth child, I had major health issues where my body started to shut down from all these back-to-back pregnancies. It was a very challenging time for me. I've even opened up in an episode of why I should have never homeschooled about my mental health and how serious that was and that I'd been hospitalized for mental health and to have all these children on top of it and being a little bit OCD and things like that. It was a huge trial for me. I had no idea how to navigate a family or little kids. I was very often irritable with my kids and my husband. I felt like I was a victim and it wasn't very much fun. Now, the great thing is, is that I always had this desire in the back of my mind, in my heart. I know amazing families exist. How in the world does one get there? How do you create this? So I decided to get out of self-pity and decided to rise to the occasion. I started studying about parenting. 
I would read any book about it. I started attending classes and seminars. I practiced over and over and over and over again until I figured out how to create an amazing family. Now, it's one thing to do something, but it is very different to be able to teach it to other people. I have my amazing son who is a wonderful musician. Not only is he a great musician, but he is able to put his music together and write albums and create the whole shebang, right? Not just play the guitar, but he learned the bass and he learned the ukulele. Um, I know he can play some other instruments too, but I can't think off the top of my head what they are. He learned how to put it together into programs and to uh, make tracks where he was every single instrument and all the vocals and everything. And it was so, so neat to see him be an absolute rock star with this. So he decided, I'm a really good musician. Why don't I teach people how to play the guitar or the ukulele? And he quickly found out that he did not like teaching people how to play. He had a passion and he was driven and he would just practice. He was constantly growing his talent and was shocked that other people wouldn't do the same. So he decided, I have no desire to teach other people. It is just more fun to do it myself and not have to worry about what other people are doing. The same thing happened to me years ago when I was teaching dance. I would know how to move my body and I would know how to fill the music or do something with the music, but it took me a while to be able to teach it to other people to do the same thing. So I have taken all this years of, let's see, I've been a parent for 20 and a half years, all the two decades of information, of books I've read, of seminars I've attended and put it in to a bite-sized chunk to be able to actually teach you how to create an amazing family and just said instead of saying look at me here's this amazing family but honestly I don't really know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing I've got to practice through coaching and through other ways of helping people to start showing you step by step ways to create an amazing family so I want to be on a mission to help other families to be successful to know how to feel joy to know how to solve problems, to have peace in their home. And I've been trying to think of ways, how do I get this message out more? How do I help more families, especially in a world that seems to be continuing to attack families and continuing to attack women who want to be home with their families? What could I do? I was really pondering this and I decided to start offering webinars where I can teach a concept and do live Q and A's with you right then and there. So when you have a question, I can help you right then and there. If you are stuck on something like, yeah, 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 that, that I get it. But what about my kid, my teen who never comes home on time or my four year old who never stops crying? What do I do then? And I want to be able to answer those questions right then and there for you. So what is my webinar about? How to create an amazing family. Um, mamas get stuck in the day-to-day -day tasks like laundry, cleaning, and school, and the family goes into survival mode. I want to show you, my friends, how to go from survive to thrive. In the webinar, I am going to show you one simple tool that you can do that can radically change your entire family because it is by small and simple things that great things are brought to pass. And I want to share with you one small and simple tool that will put you on the trajectory that you want to be on with your family. I want to show you how to get rid of tattletelling because guess what? That's one of my biggest pet peeves and that is one of the first things that I wanted to nip in the bud was how in the world do I get rid of tattletelling? What about when kids are fighting? What do you do? I want to help you get on top of that too. I also want to show you how to solve any problem in your family. One thing that I love about my kids, well, I love many things. One thing I think is really cool is that they are problem solvers. Things are going to always pop up. Um, just the other day, my daughter had a problem pop up with pop up with debate as she picked a really interesting topic to argue, but it was a little risque for other kids to Google search it. And so she had to pull it down right before a competition and she went and felt the emotions and cried. And then she learned had a great idea of like, this is how I can solve this problem. This is how I can fix this. And I love 
teaching that to other people. I love seeing other families start to thrive, start to get excited to be together. I love seeing moms start enjoying their children again. So many times moms will say like, of course I love my kids, but honestly, I don't really like them and I don't want to be with them. And kids sometimes are feeling the exact same way. Like, yeah, 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 I love my parents, but I don't know if I want to be with them or do I like them. Uh, yeah, I love my siblings and I'll, I won't actively try to hurt them, but I don't really care about them or love them. Can you imagine a family that just starts getting along and starts being each other's biggest cheerleader and biggest supporter? That is one of the things I want to help you start getting on the path of, of how to create this amazing family. So this webinar is going to be online. You can stay in your PJs. You don't have to put a bra on. That's fabulous. You can just come as you are and be comfortable and come and watch this webinar. I'm going to do it at night at seven o'clock mountain time on March 24th, a Thursday night, because then you can have uh, possibly your husband help with the kids or if your kids go to bed early or something like that, that you can just be there and be present. Um, and I cannot wait to have you join me. I'm including the link to sign up for this in the show notes. And I cannot wait to help you create an amazing family because friends, it doesn't just end with your family. When you put in the work to help create an amazing family in your own home, the compound interest on this is exponential because let's say you have four children and then these four children create an amazing family because they have the tools that their mom gave to them to create an amazing family. So now we have your family, now four new families, right? And then four of those children each, let's just say for the sake of numbers, have two children. So now we have your one, those four, that's five. I'm getting lost on the math. And then we have that next level of families. And then they tell their friends about it and they those friends start doing it with their family. So this is an amazing ripple effect. We need amazing families. We need more light in this world. And sometimes we don't know how. How do we get there? And I want to show you the step-by-step -step process of how to get there because I think every family can be amazing. There is not a family that cannot be. Even if your husband's like, I think this is stupid. Even if you are single, I can show you. Even if you have an angsty teen or a whiny toddler or an indifferent 10 year old, I can still show you how to start getting down the path to create an amazing family. And I hope you will join me. So click on the link in the show notes, or you can also check out on Instagram. I have um, in my link, you can join from there. And I am so excited to show you how. So friends, have an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you next week. Have a good one.